All right, guys, it's Charlie Tango 1994 back with another YouTube video. One of the best ways to use a CB radio is to venture out into the countryside, head up a hillside, and run your CB radio from there. The benefit of this is that you'll be out in wide open space at a good height, and this vastly improves your range, especially if you normally run your CB radio from a built up area. Usually, the easy way around this problem is to run your CB radio mobile and drive up to a better location but the other option is to run your CB radio completely portable with a battery and take down antenna. In order to run your CB radio portable you will need to have a long hard think about exactly what equipment you're going to need to take with you. Often this will need to include some form of shelter to keep you and your equipment out of any bad weather, your aerial and whatever equipment you might need to erect it. How you intend to power your CB radio, usually some kind of battery or collection of batteries, and of course, the CB radio itself. In most cases, you'll be driving to your chosen location and then walk the final distance, usually up a steep incline, and you will typically be away from your car for several hours. This will mean that you will also need to bring any food or drinks you'll need while out with you. By the time you account for all of the equipment you'll need, along with all the other items you'll need, you'll quickly realize that the bulk and weight of this type of equipment creates a series of challenges when wanting to carry a backpack up to an appropriate vantage point for an afternoon. Here are some useful ideas if you're planning to run a CB radio portable in the future. If you're new to this channel and would like to see more CB related videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button below and watch out for new videos uploaded every Wednesday. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to hit the like button or leave me a note in the comments section. Also, if you're new to CB radio, watch this video through to the end to find out more about the free gift I offer to all of my subscribers. The CB radio. CB radios come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, as well as weight, so if planning to head out for a CB radio activation, you might want to consider what type of radio would suit you best. Fortunately, there are a good range of small lightweight rigs out there, as well as handheld type CB radios, that can be very useful when wanting to work portable. Aerial. A standard home base aerial would be far too cumbersome to pack down and carry to a remote site, and most mobile aerials won't work without a good ground plane. So for most people who do run portable activations, there are a number of useful takedown antennas that can be used. The most common of these are the T2LT or Bazooka antenna. Both of these can be packed down to take up hardly any space and weigh very little, making them ideal for portable activations. Both of these antennas can be purchased relatively easily on eBay, but are also fairly easy to build from a length of coax cable, so it makes for a great DIY antenna project. For more information about building a T2LT, check this link. Aerial Mast To be able to properly erect your antenna, you'll need a way to hold the antenna vertically in the air. One of the easiest ways to do this is by using a fiberglass fishing pole, often known as a roach pole. These lightweight fishing poles come in a variety of lengths and break down to fit inside themselves to leave you with something about the length of a walking staff, which makes them relatively easy to carry and also comes in useful as a walking staff. Battery. Until relatively recently, one of the biggest challenges when planning a portable CB radio activation was the best way to power the CB since the ideal batteries are normally equivalent to a car battery or golf cart battery. The obvious problem is the general size and weight of these batteries. There have though been those strong and fit enough to carry a full size car battery up a hill to power their radio equipment. In more recent years there have been a flurry of power packs or car jumpers that can be charged up and are powerful enough not just to start a car but to power a CB radio for several hours before needing to be recharged. These new types of power packs are light enough and small enough to fit in the palm of your hand, so are the ideal weight and size to take out on a portable CB radio activation. Shelter. Even in the middle of a British summer, there's always a risk of a downpour or high winds, and the chances are that the weather will likely change when you're as far away from your vehicle or any form of natural cover so having some kind of makeshift shelter is essential to every portable CB radio activation, even if the sun is high in the sky 
and there's not a cloud in the sky when you set off. Since it can be packed down pretty small and weighs virtually nothing, an army style basher or tarpaulin can be erected easily into a number of different configurations for a variety of different types of weather. Cooking and drinking. If you're anything like me, it doesn't take too long when being out and about before I start craving a nice cup of tea. It need be no more than a flask of your preferred hot drink tucked away in your rucksack, but for some, a proper cook set and camp stove are essential to keeping themselves properly fueled both in drinks and for food, particularly when out for most of the day or out on an overnighter. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and as a thank you to you, particularly if you're new to CB Radio or returning to it after many years, I've put together a free information series called The Beginner's Guide to CB Radio, which I'm sharing with all of my subscribers. To find out more, click the link in the top right corner now.